What's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another Rebel FC game and today we are up against a side called AG Academy. Now just before I go in a little bit of background about what this team is about. You know at Rebel we like to challenge ourselves. We're not here to play some dead teams, bad teams. We want to play good teams, the best teams, every everything yeah. So what this uh, academy does is they um, pretty much nurture players for the premiership and then what they do is they have show matches, they bring down scouts and then the scouts will sort of watch the, their players play and choose maybe if they should sign them to an academy or what, what have you so that is that and um, you can see that uh, they're actually going to be wearing red bibs today because like I said they tend to do show matches so all these players are trying to impress for uh, Premier League or uh, you know maybe uh, championship clubs so let's get into Rebel FC's lineup enough about their team and goals we have got Kalen consistent Kalen he's back once again becoming one of my favorite Rebel Double FC players. Then at right back, we've got Rambo, Casey, and Reeve in the middle. And then we have got Rayan playing at left back because obviously I'm out, but I'm out. But I am back today. I am on the bench. I only have like 15, 20 minutes in the tank at the moment because uh, I haven't even been into a training session. So I am on the bench, but I'm so glad to be back. Let's hope I can stay injury free for a little while now. Moving on into the midfield, we've got Dylan, James and Sam. Lionel wasn't around today. Neither was Will. So that is our midfield three. And then into our front three, we have got Sava on the wing, Jesse, and then Dante on the other wing as well. So it is a strong looking lineup. And that midfield there is short, but it is full of quality. And I am excited to see how this game goes. Moving on to the bench, we have got myself finally back from injury. Absolutely buzzing. Um, I am on the bench because my match fitness is not there at all. And it's been a while since I played with the boys. So I'm going to have to earn my start and spot again, which is absolutely fair enough. Next to me, we've got Rory, aka the man with both feet our number nine and uh, he is uh, everyone knows how much quality he has so buzzing to see him come on at some point then next to him we have got Adam um, well that's actually Reeve's brother okay um, uh, Reeve wasn't actually supposed to be able to make it today um, so we decided to make some sort of funny joke out of Adam coming along but then it turned out that Reeve could make it so now we just have both the brothers playing for us today um, and uh, that should be that. So let's get into the game. And of course, I can't uh, I can't leave the bench without mentioning the big man himself, the gaffer Sol. So he's going to be uh, bringing the tactics, bringing the Pep Guardiola to the team, and uh, hopefully he can engineer Rebel FC to a beautiful, beautiful victory today. So here it is at Rebel Road. It is kickoff time. Rebel FC versus AG Academy. I'm really excited for this game. Let's see if these potentially soon to be pro ballers have got what it takes to join the rebellion and actually beat Rebel FC. Let's find out. Anyways, we have got our center back Casey on the ball, who is actually captaining the side today. Um, which was, he's got his old captain armband on, which is pretty awesome. Anyways, we got Jesse here. As we're only two minutes into the game, F tries to find Sam there, but unfortunately doesn't manage to find him. It looks like their center back gets rid of that. Dante though, and he smacks it, and it looks like that was a very, very clear handball there. And the ref calls that one for a penalty. It doesn't seem to be too much dispute from the other team, so fairly obvious. Let's take a look here. Sam doesn't get to it. Their center back goes to clear it, but it falls to. Dante here who on his left or on his right sorry and you can see their center back just sort of swipes at it there and that is going to be a penalty to Rebel FC and who is it other than our guy Casey Barker stepping up for this one is he going to put this away he's got a great record on the penalty so far which way is he going to go bottom left and oh my god it looks like that keeper actually realized it was going bottom left he sort of shuffles along but then doesn't fully commit so Casey takes advantage of that and you can see Keeper does go the right way, but it wasn't quite enough. A great start for Rebel FC, and I love it when we get an early goal. It gives us a bit more a bit of cushion, a bit more comfortable on the ball, and uh, let's see how it goes. Anyways, a great ball there played over the top to their right winger here. And uh, like I said, they're in the red bibs today because um, they don't have necessarily kits because it's constantly changing players. So they've got themselves a corner at the moment, and he throws his hand up in the air. God knows what that means, but he swings that in, and it uh, looks like he managed to get a knee for a clearance. He's going to wind up and take a shot there. Comes off of one of our defenders, but what happens here? Dante there with a bad touch, and that leaves us very open. What's he going to do? He takes a strike. Kaylin gets a hand to him. It's off the post, and their player rebounds, and it is in. 1-1 one, one, AG Academy. Pull it back and equalize. A nice, uh, well, just great instinct from number seven there. He was first to it. Let's take another look. Unfortunate for Dante to give away the ball there. A great 
great strike from him. And Kalen gets a hand to it, comes off the post, and you can see that's just that hunter instinct. Do you know what I mean? So that looked very, very nice for them, and fair play to him. They managed to equalize it 1 1. AG Academy have got the ball in our half and it's dangerous as they're on the attack here. We've got Rambo stepping up, seeing if he can grab the ball off this guy. It isn't meant to be. He says, absolutely not today, Rambo. And he does a good job of finding himself a little bit of space. Now we got this guy who's straight off the back, takes a pass one player and he's going. Let's see how many. Look at the ball roll, man. That was like three balls. He's gone. He's going down the line. It's great bit of footwork from him. He cuts it back across. It's to their player. Kalen with a mega save. Outrageous. Rayan shows some love, shows some support. Kalen has turned up today. Ball played in. My God, that is such a high ball in. It touches the ozone layer. And Dante clears there. Shout out to all my people studying science. But there we got Jesse chasing this ball down like a little bull terrier, terrier, Rottweiler, whatever it is, man. But he's going. He's not having it. And the ball is still in play. It is now Rebel FCs. They're trying to track back. And it looks like we've got Dylan. And he tries to almost roulette his way out of that one. But it wasn't happening. And AG Academy have ended up with the ball again. And it looks like it could be a counter. But Casey says nope. Captain for today says nope. Almost gives a hospital pass, but Ray in there filling in at left back does a good job to pick that up. Drives down that left side. It looks like we've got Savvy here. Oh, absolutely not. And past him. And it looks like, oh, no way. Ref pulls that one up for a free kick. Good footwork by Savva. So Sava's looking to take this one quickly, see if anyone's open, giving him options, and he finds Jesse who turns and tries to take on a defender, finds a 1-2 there. He's got Sam in the middle for him. Sam tries to get to it. Oh, that was literally about an inch and a bit too far behind Sam. Otherwise, he is putting that away all day, every day. Now, they played out from the back here, and uh, let's see if that pays off for them. They're going to try and pass their way out the back, and it doesn't pay off for them as they give the ball away. And we've got Jesse here again turning and facing the defense. He likes to take on players from a fake shot there, and he's through. What's he going to be able to do? Take the pass to keeper. Oh, Oh, the touch was just a little too much. Oh, he'd be absolutely gutted he didn't manage to put that one in. Dante smacks that with his right foot, and that doesn't end up in the back of the net. Um, Rebel FC now on the ball in their own half. Rayan tries to pick a long ball going. It finds Jesse's feet, and he goes to put that one away, and it is away. But the ref has pulled that one up for offside. You have got to be having a laugh. Ref wasn't having any of that. And you can see Sam there just chasing it down. The energy he brings to this team is unbelievable. So it's been really good. The high press has been working nicely. Rambo there picks that out of the air. And unfortunately, it still ends up with their player. So he's in the middle now. Finds this midfielder here who loves to ping balls by number 11. Almost finds a goal scorer, actually. But they've still got the ball. It's in a dangerous spot. He's managed to go past James. He takes a strike there. And oh! Just over. It looks like Kalen may have um, just had that covered anyways. Rebel goal kick as Kalen uses a rocket launcher to send that one flying into the opponent's half. And they win the header there. And it goes back to him. It's all in the air. Who's going to be the first to it? Looks like they are. He's going to send this right winger down there. And look at the pace on this guy. He's so fast. This team are rapid. Reeve there with a cheeky little back heel there to Sam. Sam not only attacking so well, but also coming back to defend. Love that. Dante opens his body, finds the space in the middle. And that's a great ball. Manages to get it to Dylan who finds Jesse. Now this is dangerous, dangerous times for AG. And he cuts inside there, a bit of space on his left foot. Whack, oh, if only that went in, that would have been a peach on his left foot. And you can see Jesse's head down, not too chuffed with that one. But um, a great bit of football there from Rebel. Anyways, Reeve decides to take matters into his own hand, goes into the middle. Oh, so much space there for Jesse. And uh, that was a great spot by Reeve. Great for him to drive forward like that. But we've got Jesse on the ball now. He goes inside there, and he's the danger man. He puts it out wide there. Savas on the ball now. What's he able to do? Ball roll over. Oh my god! That did for skill. We're discussing it back to Jesse, and it's in the back of the net. What was that? Please, someone explain Savas assist to me. That was, look at this, look at this, this is crazy, I don't even know, ball roll, step over, Ronaldo chop, flip flap, or whatever that was, and passes it back, for this is, that has got to be, maybe Rebel's best assist, I don't know, that was crazy, the guy takes off his top there in front of you, he's had enough, it's only the 25th minute, and uh, he's just found that outrageous as well, a misplaced pass from their team as Dante sends that out wide over to the left, he's gonna see if he can find anyone, oh, Sava goes inside as well, not mega alert, and he has that there, Dylan finds himself, Sava, what wait no oh my god please what was that what was that was that a nutmeg into an absolute mega 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 shot look at that nutmeg there nutmeg alert hello here we go boom takes a step smack what ryan palmer can do sava can do with a nutmeg simple as that Wow, Sava. 
Ryan Palmer who? Come on. Come on. I'd love for you guys to leave a comment down below. Do you think that was Rebel SE's best ever solo goal? I'd love to hear your thoughts. And uh, that was just so, so mad. The way he knocked Megzen before taking a shot from that far out. Outrageous, mate. Absolutely outrageous. So it's 3-1 to Rebel FC at the moment, but they found themselves in a good little spot here. If Ronaldo chops inside there, takes a smack, and it spills. But Kalen looks to have that one a little bit under control. Oh, does almost a little, the, the goalkeeper equivalent of a roulette. And then he dishes that one out there to the left back. Um, who should be ran at this point, but who knows? He plays a nice little chip ball through to James. Great idea there from James to take that touch in his stride, but unfortunately it wasn't quite clean enough and it doesn't work out for him, but safe hands with Kalen. Um, good stuff so far from Rebel FC, as far as I'm uh, I'm aware, and it would be playing good football and we scored some nice goals. Again, great ball down there onto the right. They're so fast that they're hard to keep up with. Their whole team floods the box now. They've got a lot of options in there, and he looks to swing that one in. Who does he manage to find? Oh my God, that was Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Esque. That could have been an amazing goal if that went in. Let's have a look here. Swings that in. Goes for the scissor kick. Whack. That would have been so tasty. Here we go. Rebel on the ball. Now this time we've got our number eight, Dylan, there. Who sells him whatever he needs to do. He needs to meet his target for this year. And he does so well with that guy who absolutely bought that one. But in fairness, he does get the ball back to him. So credit to him for that. But unfortunately, misplaced that pass. And we've got Jesse who finds Sava out on the left wing here. And what's Sava going to do? And oh my god. Dante was waiting there. So it would have been so perfect. But Jesse, unfortunately, does, isn't able to see him running in behind him. And uh, weren't able to get another goal. Dante's coming so close to getting himself a goal it just hasn't quite worked out yet anyways they're on the ball there it takes a shot there and I'm not gonna lie he should have swung that into the back post because I think he had Rambo beaten there and uh, a good bit of football so far there as he plays it there and Sam does a good job of creating a bit of space in that midfield and uh, opening things up but it's a misplaced pass there from what I believe to be Reeve and uh, it looks like he can be burnt there there's a lot of pace in this team he's going he's going and Kalen comes out commanding the box this is Kalen's box not yours not your mum not your dad not your uncle Cool. Not your dog's box, but Kalen's box. Anyways, he goes there, tries to bend that one into the corner, and not today, my friends. Here we go. Dante on the ball manages to find Sam, who on his left foot attempts to pick out Sava. Sava's putting on the gas. Is he going to get to it? Looks like their keeper comes out, and that is away. Close call there. We've got Dante on the ball here. Oh, nice. That was so, so clean. Let me get a big alert on that. Take a look at this. Boom. Oh, so clean, man. I love nutmegs like that where it's just, oh, I just feel smooth. It's like peanut butter. Do you want it crunchy or do you want it smooth? You want it smooth. All right, simple. Anyways, that's halftime. And uh, let's hear what the gaffer, Coach Sol, has to say to the boys. All right. What do you think? I, I don't think they're a very good team and we're slumped down to their level, I think. We've, yeah. we've given the ball away too easy. I yeah. don't think we've been as creative enough. Right, we do like 10 minutes. I, I think that's exactly it. I just said um, I was a bit disappointed because in spells you've been excellent, but that's exactly it in, in bits. And then you've been really, really sloppy. Just let's not go into our bad habits. Mm -hmm. Yeah, remember, come on, let's take care of business. All right. Let's go and put these guys away. All right. Let's go. All right, let's go. Play. So we're into the second half and we are 3 1 up. Let's see if AG Academy have anything left in them and are they going to be able to pull this back? Let's find out. Anyways, they're on the attack now, so chances are looking good for them. What are they going to do? Literally the first play of it. And wow! Kalen, please stop. That was an amazing reaction save there. It was sort of at him, but he had to remain big and uh, does a great job there. Kalen, so far, for me, having the best game in the Rebel FC side. Again, down this left wing, they're causing us issues. We've actually got Reeve's brother on now who had to fill in because Reeve initially wasn't actually supposed to be at this game, so we were gonna have a bit of fun with it and bring his brother along, but it turns out Reeve could make it in the end. So anyways, we have got um, Adam, Reeve's brother, at right back. Here we go. Anyways, Kalen, there, he just didn't want to pass it out. So here we go. We've got AG Academy on the run now, down this right wing. Are they going to cause any problems? He looks like he's going to try to take Ray and almost going to happen. Goes inside, a little fake shot there. Finds this guy with the red boots, I think, and he gets pushed down. But ref sees no problem with that. Fair enough then. And it looks like you've got James here. Tries to chip that one through to Dante, who's quick, but not 
quite that quick, unfortunately. Usain Bolt, if you want, uh, if you want a contract here at Rebel FC, I know you're looking for a club. Shout me in uh, my emails in my uh, Twitter bio, by the way. Anyways, little one-two there. Actually, it wasn't a one-two. It come off the Rebel player. Boom! There it is. Three-two. You can see Kalen's annoyed at that. He had a great game so far, and uh, look at that. It literally came off one of the Rebel FC players. So a little bit disappointing there. A little bit disheartening more than anything. And uh, we let it go to three-two. So they are in with a chance here. Reeve on the ball there manages to find Sam. He's going to try and pick the lock. Looks to get Rory. Rory's come on at half time. Uh, looks like Dylan there attempted a ball roll, but paid for his uh, paid for his mistake there. And that happens sometimes. He's got so much skill and so much talent, but he can just get caught out in small moments like that. Anyways, they're on the attack again. You can see Reeve tracking back there, trying to do his best. Let's see what he can do. This is such a fast team. They're quick on the counter. It goes across there, and it looks like we just can't get rid of the ball. We're flapping around, messing around with it at the back there, and it looks like it is 3-3. Three, three. And AG Academy have managed to pull this one back, and no one can quite believe it on Rebel. I mean, what what, what exactly did their coach say to them at halftime? They've come out here. That's a great little touch there, and a second really good touch. Plays it across. Got, I mean, that was just really nice football from their forward, but we should have just got rid of it. We were playing around with it in the box, and it wasn't meant to be, and we absolutely paid the price. So it's 3-3 three, three now, and boy, do we have some work to do. Anyways, again, down this left-hand side, they're having a lot of luck here right now, and they're just pummeling this left-hand side as he tries to go across. He takes a shot there, and Kalen manages to save it. Again, it's just so much activity in and around our box. It's not what you want at all. So their centre-back, who gave away the penalty in the first half, is on the ball, and he dishes it to his teammate there, who's going to try and play it out wide, and uh, Adam actually does a great job of taking that on the chest, controlling it. Finds Jesse, who's playing Cam, uh, as we got Rory up at striker, and it looks like he's going to play that one through. It's a great ball through to Rory. Rory, who puts that away. Clinical stuff there from Rory. The way he opens up his body and tucks it away nicely from Jesse to Rory. Hey, come on. Well done, Rory. Good job, man. All right. Huh? Oh, four, three. Come on. We are not self destructive today, motherfucker. Love to see that. Take another look here. Nice little outside of the boot assist. And just great composure. It's so easy to mess up those simple chances. But Rory's done a great job of putting that away. And let's hope that is him back on his goal scoring form again. So we've got Jesse here. As you can see, he's playing a little bit deeper in that cam roll. And uh, referee's blown up there for a free kick. And uh, we'll have to see what happens next. And he looks like he knocks that one away from that player. Uh, James takes that one quickly. And it looks like their players are caught napping. What's going to happen here? Dante on his left foot. Oh, drags that one wide. Unlucky that didn't go in. You can see he's absolutely gutted with that. As he's come so close to getting a couple goals in this game, to be honest with you. A ball played there. Rea manages to get onto it now. And he goes to put that away. Finds James, I believe, here. Who potentially winds up for a shot there. And it didn't end up happening. He tried to play someone through. But it goes across there. And it was a bad touch there from Sam, but Rayan's there to save his own bacon and uh, finds uh, who was that Jesse Jesse passes to Rory back out to Jesse who needs some good feet to get out of this situation and he does good to hold his own picks up James again James plays it through there and then who does he find he finds Rory with his back towards the goal turns left foot boom there it is my god Rory with his second goal in what's that like was that like 20 minutes love that he's come on and he is performing well I'm just so happy for him because uh, he absolutely deserves it and it's great to see him back in goal scoring form come on Rory No, 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 Rebel have found themselves with a two-goal lead now. And uh, we've had a two-goal lead before and we threw it away, so hopefully not again. A diagonal ball played across from by number one and Rayan had been calling that ball every time it's been happening. And uh, fair play to him for reading that. Every time number one picked up the ball, he was looking to ping it long, ping it in behind the defense. And uh, he swipes at that and that's gone into the back garden of some poor soul. And not only that, I am the poor soul because that, oh, you owe me 100 quid. I'll be invoicing you. I'll deliver it personally, whatever you need. I want my 100 quid, simple as that. Uh, anyways, a ball played there from James, who kind of hits it a little bit short, but it looks like he got lucky and Dylan there mops that up. Very nicely, Dante applauds that because it was a great finish. Jesse applauds that with a shoulder bump, a mid-air shoulder bump, and it was really unfortunate that left back made a small error. Dylan capitalizes, and he is in some top, top form at the mo moment, and uh, a pleasure to watch him play. Rayan's got himself a throw in here, and it looks like he's gonna pick out James there, who's uh, had a contested one, and he goes down there, hopping along. Look at number 17 at the bottom of your screen. It's me, I'm back, baby, I'm back, and he smacks that. 
Kaylin's good, but yes, look, the, the giraffe on ice is back. I'm buzzing, look at me. There I am, what are you gonna do? For? Okay, I didn't get it there, but that's all right. Look, I'm so excited to be back on a football pitch. And, I, oh man, it is good to be back. I'm hoping to get my minutes up soon again. And uh, you've got these players here running around and he takes another strike at it there. You can see they're getting a little bit frustrated right now because they're, they're not really getting the chances that they were at the beginning of the second half. They're shooting a lot from outside the box um, and uh, they're gonna have to change that if they want to bring this back. They got about 10 minutes now and uh, he's played it out to the left wing here. He makes a darting run actually into uh, into good some good space but a good bit of uh, solo work there and they smack it again from outside the box comfortable for my guy Kalen and uh, that's that really it goes back out so they've got a throw in there this time in their own half let's see what they can do finds uh, number one this is the guy pinging him again he pings it again Ray and every time called that Casey does a good job there to try and get rid of it but it falls to one of their players you can see all the boys rushing back now we've been do told to defend at the halfway line so this shouldn't be happening and he managed to find himself a little bit of space and no oh, that was uh, that was close for Kaelin that could have ended up with their player getting another rebound goal AG are not letting this one go as they're gonna attack down this right wing here I try and cut off their right wingers run and it goes all the way to the back post there he's got himself a little bit of time goes for a step over there but it looks like he failed and Rambo you could tell he's been hitting Jim the way he pushed that guy off that was calm good little touch there from him and it's back there some lovely lovely footwork risky in our own half admittedly but it's worked out there but Reeve gives it away there a very dangerous spot at the edge of the box and it goes across Rayan's there to clear it and it looks like this guy's on the ball oh oh he's looking kind of nice Sava's not having this he goes back all right yeah no nah, Sava's like I'm not taking that but the rest playing on and we'll see the little step over Adam goes diving in and he's still on the break what's it gonna happen oh my gosh that could have been so so terrible for us there but for Unfortunately, a little bit too much selfish play from AG, and they don't manage to get a goal like that. As it's headed back there, and uh, they're on the ball, and they've got their back towards the our goal, which is never quite ideal, to be perfectly honest with you, as a defender. And he plays it out there, and it looks like time is almost going to be up. We're almost coming into the 91st minute, and actually, there it is. Referee calls it at that. 6-3 to Rebel FC versus the AG Academy. Uh, a good game and uh, fair play to them. I'm buzzing just to be back. Simple. I'm just gassed. All right? I'm happy. I'm a happy guy. I'm sure if any of you guys ever had that injury, come back. First time on the pitch, just smiles. And uh, so we'll be, we'll be working on getting those minutes up. And I uh, want to say a big thank you to AG, of course. And uh, I also want to run through some stats with you guys and compare it to the last game that we played. Because, hey, we got a stat man now. Yeah, so uh, it's pretty exciting here at Rebel FC HQ. So let's take a look at the pass completion rate. In our previous game against AFC Southgate, we managed to get 85.19%. And uh, in this game, we actually managed 85.01. So as you can see, hardly any difference there. And uh, you know, uh, it's not bad. It's not a bad pass completion rate. Let's see if we get 90 plus sometime. How about that, all right? Anyways, moving on to shots on target. Um, last game, we got 53.8% and this time we managed to get 68.75% so come on rebel that is good we're on the up we managed to test the keeper a lot more so very happy about that uh, now in terms of aerial battles last time we won 50% and this time again the same 50% so uh, pretty even there were a short team so maybe that's a good stat who knows uh, moving on to tackles one last time it was 56.5% this time it was 64.4% so again an increase good amount of tackles one happy with that now in terms of interceptions last game in the Southgate game we got 63 and this time we got 55 so a little bit lower this time but maybe it could have been a style of football I'm not sure anyways that's it for your stat roundup for this game very very happy with that and as always guys make sure you join the rebellion you check out all of our social medias you check out all the players pages as well um, they're all posting cool cool content on all of them so uh, big up yourselves don't forget to leave a like subscribe press the little bell button next to it as well if you haven't already so you get notified every time we upload and I hope you guys have a fantastic day I will catch you guys in a bit and thank you very much to AG Academy Academy for joining the rebellion. See you guys in a bit. Bye-bye.